Welcome to 2019, dear viewers, and guess what? There's been pretty much no news from Azure over the past two weeks, so that's the show for this time. See you next week. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Even though Jeffrey really wants me to end it here. No, too bad. This time, on the show. What could 2019 hold for Azure? Hmm. Changes to Azure certifications that we actually didn't see coming. And the BUT framework has a new SDK release. It's always the time for future predictions of the year ahead in the first week of January. And I'm actually not a big fan of those types of posts. However, for once, I actually think there is a good reason to do so. 2018 was huge for Azure with revenue increase in the June quarter of 89% and tons of new products and features. I have no reason to believe that 2019 will be any different, but there are a few areas I think will get more attention than others and subsequently grow exponentially. The first one is machine learning or ML. With the announcement in early December of the general availability of Azure machine learning services, there is a strong focus on the tech currently, and rightly so. ML has the potential to figure out very complex algorithms and solutions, potentially even without building killer robots and taking over the world. Well, we can always hope. The Azure ML services and capabilities will expand rapidly to satisfy the appetite from companies to use the tech. There's also a Microsoft certificate in ML, which I am sure will get a major overhaul. Many more regions are in the works for Azure too. Currently, 10 regions are announced and yet to open, and these include South Africa, United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, Germany, and Norway. Of course, the idea is to get more customers with the new regions, but there will also be migrations for existing customers that want to take advantage of those closer regions. The migrations for those regions won't be trivial, and further demand on skills will be obvious, and there will also be a way more lift and shift operations. <laughs> this favorite buzzword among non-technical managers means that on-premises infrastructure will be moved to the cloud. SQL Server 2008 will have end of life in mid-2019 and a mad rush to move that data to the cloud will come. And you know what the biggest challenge by far will be in 2019? I'm pretty certain of this. Getting people with the right Azure skills. Finding competent people will be a major hurdle. We're finding the same here at the Cloud Guru as we also increase focus on the Azure Cloud Platform. And what better way to show that you know your stuff than completing Azure courses on the AGD platform. Throughout 2019, we'll continue to release certification courses as well as technology-specific courses and everything in between. So if you haven't got an account already, use the link below to get a free trial. Go. No, go. Do it. Do it now. I'll wait here. Without too much fanfare, a couple of big announcements in the certification world made news during the Christmas break. A little bit unexpected, the new Azure Developer Certification courses, AZ200 and AZ201, have been retired while in beta. Instead, Microsoft has created AZ203, Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure. This new exam has about 70% content from AZ200 and 30% from AZ201. This certificate is for developers who design and build cloud solutions such as applications and services. There isn't a beta period for AZ203, which means you can take it right now and get your results straight away. The other part of the certification news is the announcement of AZ900, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. The AZ900 is aimed at non-tech people that are involved in selling or purchasing cloud-based solutions and services or who have some involvement with cloud-based solutions and services, as well as those with a technical background who have a need to validate their foundational level knowledge uh, around cloud services on the Microsoft Azure platform. This exam is also available right now. The bot framework lets you build, connect, deploy, and manage intelligent bots to naturally interact with your users on a website, app, Cortana, which I know Jeffrey has on his Windows phone, mm. Microsoft Teams, Skype, Slack, Facebook, Messenger, and more. To develop bots, you would normally use the bot framework, which is now in version 4.2. This version is focused on enhancing monitoring, telemetry, and analytics capabilities of the SDK by improving the integration with Azure App Insights, which is a very cool service, by the way. The goal is to provide developers with the ability to understand their overall bot health. That's a thing, I know. 
Provide detailed reports about the bot's conversation quality as well as tools to understand where conversations fall short. There's also a bunch of improvements for Lewis. No, that's not a guy. It's the Language Understanding Intelligence Service. Web chat speech to text and text to speech and more. That is it for this first episode of 2019 and what an exciting year ahead. And I'll be giving you the weekly highlights for most weeks of the year. So this week we covered what could 2019 hold for Azure? I think focus on ML, migration and skills will be a huge deal. Changes to Azure certifications with the replacement course AZ203 and the brand new AZ900. And the bot framework has a new SDK release with version 4.2. So see you next week with more new Azure fantasticness. Yeah, I just made that word up. I know. Keep being awesome, Clark Gurus.